First question is from Josh Core. In terms of building muscle, is it possible to hit or slightly exceed your protein goal of one gram per pound of body weight, but still have lackluster results because your calories are too low? Absolutely. For sure. This core yeah. is hardcore. This was a lesson that I learned, uh, you know, because I, I, I would consider myself in that category of naturally skinny, more like an ectomorph, you know, the, kind of those, those, those uh, you know, defunct, you know, somatotypes, right? Ectomorph being the naturally skinny, hard to build muscle person. Then you have a couple other somatotypes. But I fit somewhat in that category. It was hard for me to put on mass. It was hard for me to put on muscle. And I, I felt like I could train and eat like my friends, and it just happened much slower to me. One of the first lessons that I learned uh, on all of this was that calories actually are king. Protein is second. But without calories, uh, it doesn't matter if your protein intake is high. You just don't have enough fuel and energy and yeah, building you need blocks. The building materials. That's right. And so I remember I would I would aim for protein, and it was better than nothing, right? I would aim for protein. It was definitely better than nothing. I take protein powder, this and that. And then at one point, I read this article. Can't remember where I found it, but it talked about how you need to aim for how hard gainers need to aim for something like twenty two calories per pound of body weight. So to give you some context. A 150-pound hard gainer, right, would need to consume, what is that, 3,300 calories. And I remember thinking, like, I think I eat 3,300 calories. Then I started to add things up, and I realized that I wasn't. I was, on average, eating 2,500 calories, sometimes 3,000 calories. Every once in a while, if I pushed it, my calories were above 3,300. So I said, okay, I'm going to aim for 3,300 calories, or I think it was 3,400 calories for me at the time. And sure as shit, I started to pack on uh, muscle mass. So calories for, for gaining size, especially for somebody that has a tough time gaining it, nutritionally speaking, calories number one, protein number two. Well, this is like the question that we got just uh, last week when we were up in Tahoe was the, uh, the girl that was trying to build her butt and then was eating enough. She said I was eating enough protein intake, and then my recommendation was to actually go on a bulk. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of times this happens where I get somebody who's like, man, I'm I'm following like a MAPS program. I'm, I'm training this way and I'm, I'm making sure I'm hitting my protein intake, but I'm just not getting any stronger or building any muscle. And then I ask like where the, the calorie intake is. And I'm like, well, when's the last time you actually went on like a bulk and actually tried to increase mm -hmm. calories? So it's very similar. Similar answer is. Yeah, go on a go on a bulk for a little bit and increase calories and see what happens. More often than not, if it's not also related to programming, right? So you that's another of thing. Of course, that, that we're taking that for right. Know, we're yeah. assuming that you're following like a maps type of protocol, or you you under you you get the concept of and importance of phasing your programs, and so you're you know doing that already. So I would address that first, right? First, address making sure that uh, you're not like sticking to the exact same program you've been doing for months and months and months on out. Uh, and then the second thing would be to put yourself on a nice little caloric surplus for a couple of weeks. Yeah, and see if what you happens. don't have the, the, you know, think about it this way. I'll, I'll, I'll create an analogy, right? So you have uh, a bunch of workers and you have, and you give them building plans and you order them to build a house, but then you don't provide them with the materials to build the house. You don't give them two by fours. You don't give them nails and screws. You don't give them bricks. You could order them all you want to build you a house, but they don't have the building blocks to do so. This is what can happen if you have a great workout, uh, even if your protein intake is appropriate and proper, you have a high protein intake, but you don't have enough calories. Your body doesn't have the building blocks to build that extra muscle. So calories are very important. By the way, women, if your, if your goal is to shape your body, build a butt, build some curves, speed up your metabolism, you also need to look at your caloric intake. In fact, the difference between my diet when I'm getting leaner and building muscle or trying to add size to my body, the difference is not the protein. My protein intake is always pretty consistent. I typically aim for about 0.7 grams of protein per pound of body weight. What's different are my calories. I'll have more carbs and more fats if I'm trying to gain. And if I'm trying to lose, I'll have less carbs and less fat. So the difference is calories. 